Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys eight different ways in which you can clear cached files on your iPhone. So what are cached files? Well, cached files are files that will basically pile up on an app. Usually different apps will store different data. Some of them you will probably never need again, but they will just pile up there and they will take a ton of space. There are also files that will be saved by the iOS system as well. So they just take up a ton of space and usually they will appear here when you go to the storage as other. So these are basically files that most of them probably you won't ever need but they will just take up a ton of space on your iPhone. So in today's video I will show you guys eight different ways in which you can clear these files from your device and of course get a ton of more free storage. Now of course as I said with time there will be a ton of cached files either from iOS itself or from different apps. Now, when it comes to iOS, one thing that you can do is actually reboot your device. Now, this is the first thing you wanna do when trying to clear cached files out of your iPhone. So you can see right here, if we go to storage and we scroll all the way down here, you will notice that the system data are currently at 11 gigabytes on my device. Now, if I reboot my device, this, this will most likely go down. So what you need to do, again, the first thing I would do when trying to clear cache files is reboot the device. You can do that from here. So on the shutdown button or now on the new button or right there on the control center, or you can just use the old volume up, volume down and tap and hold here the side button until your iPhone powers off. It, the screen will go dark and then you will see the Apple logo. Once you see that, you just release the button and you're good to go. And now that the device has just rebooted, we can go back to general here, go to iPhone storage, scroll all the way down here, and you can see it's currently sitting at 9.8 gigabytes. So we just basically got 1.5 gigs of free storage by just rebooting the iPhone. Next will be Safari, and as you can see right here, Safari does save a ton of things. Probably most of them will be from different history and website data and all the cookies and all that stuff that will be saved locally to your device. Now, what you need to do here is head on to Safari. You can find it here under apps. Let's just search it. So there we have Safari. So go here and all you have to do is just basically clear the history on your iPhone here. So here we have clear history and website data. You tap right there and you will see everything that you have here. You can select what you wanna clear. Of course, if you wanna clear everything, you can just go ahead and select all history and make sure you also choose all profiles and then just tap to clear the history and you're good to go. I would suggest that you also do the same with third party browsers as well. Now I use Chrome a lot on my iPhone. I can say I use 50-50 between Chrome and Safari. So of course I will have a ton of different data saved here under the Chrome app. So what you need to do in this case, if you're using Chrome or any other browser, make sure that very frequently you delete the website data and all the stuff that these basically browsers will save locally to your iPhone. So in this case in Chrome, you go here and all you have to do is go to privacy and security. You will have delete browsing data. And of course you will have here a few different choices. Now what you can do here with Chrome, now this is a pretty cool option that Chrome has, is that you can choose to not clear the history, but you can then clear the website data, cookies, cached images and files and all that other stuff. And of course you can deselect also save passwords if you don't wanna clear them. So basically you just clear the things that you need. That's an amazing option that we actually have here with the Chrome app. Now, when it comes to apps, another thing I really suggest you do is upload unused apps. Now, this is an amazing feature that iOS offers and it has been here for years now, especially if you tend to install a ton of different apps on your iPhone. A lot of them will probably be forgotten. Like I installed quite a lot of apps on my iPhone and sometimes I just see an app and not even remember when was the last time I used it or when I even installed it. So use the upload unused app feature. This will remove the apps that you don't use automatically from your iPhone. So you don't have to bother with remembering to like uninstall an app or just try to find apps that you don't use to uninstall them. 
you can just go ahead and do this. It will be done automatically. And if at any time you need that app, you just search it on the app library and it's there. You will be able to re-download it on your iPhone and also have all the data saved. Now there will be of course a ton of different apps that do have a lot of things that they have stored on your iPhone, like gigs of different data that they have stored locally on your iPhone. Now a lot of apps do offer the option to clear the cache, but if you have an app that stores a ton of data, it doesn't have that option, then you can go ahead and go to your general settings here, then go under iPhone storage and you will see here a list of all the apps and all the data that they have saved on your device. Like you can see right here, Snapchat 16 gigs of files that it has saved on my iPhone. That's pretty crazy. So what I suggest you do in this case, you can just go ahead and delete this app from your device, delete the app and then reinstall it. Of course, these things, all these files will pile up again on your iPhone, but it will probably take a few months for Snapchat to reach 16 gigs again. So in that time, I will have quite a lot of more free storage. Now, when talking about Snapchat, it does actually offer quite a cool feature. You can go to Snapchat, go to your settings and scroll here under privacy controls. And you will have something here called clear data. You go there and you will basically see everything here that Safari saves on your iPhone from the lenses, the search history and all that. And then you will have here clear cache. So what it will be basically here, you will see just a button. It allows us to tap right there. It will restart Snapchat and clear all the cached files that this app has saved on your iPhone. Now the same goes here for Spotify as well. I know a ton of people do use Spotify on their iPhone. So on Spotify, just go to your profile and then go to settings and you will have the storage option right here. Now it will show you here what you have saved on your iPhone. So you can see in this case on my device, I have 2.4 gigs of downloads, things that I have downloaded on Spotify, but I have 7.2 gigs of cached files. Now it offers here the option to actually clear the cache and you can tap on that button and have a ton of free storage on your iPhone by clearing all the cached files. I will have to know that in this case with Spotify, it will cache, of course, different music. So you, even when you don't have internet, you might be able to actually listen to that song, even though you haven't downloaded it before, but it's just cached on your device. But if you clear the cache, of course, they will all be removed. And last but not least, we're moving to TikTok. A ton of people, of course, use TikTok. So right here on the TikTok, we also have a pretty useful feature. So you go to settings and privacy, and then you will have here free up space. So you will have a dedicated section for cached files. So you can see right here, if you clear the cache files, we will be able to actually clear up quite a ton of storage here. So we will have downloads. These may include like different filters and effects that you have downloaded, but then you'll also have cached files, things that actually TikTok has saved on your iPhone locally. And you can go ahead and clear that from here. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. Of course, subscribe for more iOS 18 videos, and I will see you on the next one.